Did you all know 88% of smokers had their first cigarette before they were 18 years of age? Now, teen smoking rates dropped. They've dropped since the 90s, but new research suggests that decline is now slowing down, meaning the rates are, are actually increasing relative to where they were earlier. Yeah, and almost yeah. every day about a thousand new kids become daily smokers. Cigarette smoking and teen smoking is one of the most searched topics on my website. Mm. Parents are confounded by this. And my personal take on this is that we need to understand that nicotine is a drug. It is a legal drug, but it is a drug nonetheless. I think a lot of parents feel like, well, it's not heroin, so it must be safe because it's legal. It is not safe. We know that a number of uh, people, 433,000, almost a half a million people, die every year from cigarette smoking related causes. This is very, we very know it's serious. Addictive. Oh, yeah. yes. and, but, it, you know, it's, a, it's an uphill fight because there's so much in the media that smoking is cool. The kids are seeing that in movies yeah. and TV shows and things like that. So that's why it's so important that any campaign really has to go overboard mm -hmm. to combat that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I let's talk is, about you know, that, Drew, really quickly, if, if we can jump into this, because I want to hear yeah. what, what you've been seeing. But there are scare tactics now. And yeah. Australia, you know, has yeah, printed they, some. They're starting to put uh, really grotesque pictures on their cigarette cartons. Or, and these or, scare tactics yeah. do work. Yeah. They do have an effect in terms of decreasing well, the rates of smoking yeah, because yeah. how can you not think yeah. twice? Right. Exactly. There was a, a very um, um, effective campaign run recently by the federal government, and they had they, the ones with the um, the videos and the the lady is putting a scarf on to cover her her trach. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and when you see that and she talks like that, you see that and it is shocking. And if you're in a room with your kids, I think you should stop and say, listen, this may look cool, but there is a very real and ugly side mm -hmm. to cigarette smoking. Make them stop and look. Sure. You know, one of the reasons kids start smoking in the first place is they see their peers and their parents mm -hmm. smoking. You know, if, if a child has a parent that smokes, they're much, much more likely to eventually start smoking. So that's when I in my office, when I know one of the parents are smoking, yeah. I say, you know what, I know you want to quit, because most smokers are trying to quit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for your kids. Well, do it so your kids don't eventually are, are yeah. find themselves in the same situation you are. I mean, I think it worked on us as a physician. If, you, if you're dealing with either a uh, lung cancer patient, uh, emphysema patient, chronic bronchitis, or a head and neck cancer patient, mm -hmm. you deal with one of those, you see that. I know the first time I dealt with it, I said, whoa, I'm never going to smoke. You yeah. know, with kids, it's all about the looks. <laughs> so you can say, listen, is this what you see yourself looking like? You know, look, allow extra time to put on your legs. I mean, is this yeah. what you really, really want? Because one of the things that everyone who has children knows, that sometimes they don't, especially teenagers, see beyond tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They need to understand yeah. the long-term impact, and, and that's where we come in with our... Half a million people die each year. Unreal. Yeah. Renee, <laughs> keep up all the great work. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Thank you.